first topic that we're going to have a look at the past papers for is the data information and knowledge. Okay, so this is the question, but so I'm going to go through a few things just to remind you. Okay, so we've got data. Okay, so what is data? So if I gave you a load of um, numbers, so I could say 21.3, 22.6, 23.5, 20. So what do these mean? Now the thing about data is the fact that because we don't actually know what they mean, they could mean anything. So they could be lengths, they could be averages of the of a score for the year, they could be anything. And because they mean anything, they mean nothing. So the fact of data is that it means raw facts and figures. So as part of the exam, you'd get one mark for giving the definition and one mark for giving an example. Now, at this point, if you wrote anything about what they could possibly be, you'd lose that mark because you're turning it into information. So the next part is the information. And information is we actually give those values a context. So if I said that these are swim times in a race, I have now given it a context, so that's data with a meaning, the context, okay, so there's your one mark for your example and your one mark for your definition. Stage three is when we turn it into Okay, so what is knowledge? Um, the definition is where it's information that's given a rule and a result. And what do I mean by that? So if I said the rule that could be linked to a swimming race would be the fastest time wins. So whoever does uh, get the fastest time ends up winning. All right, so what is the result of this particular example? And if we have a look at the top, okay, so we've got 21.3. Okay, so that's not the fastest. That's not the fastest. This one is the fastest. So we've got, this could be swimmer or lane one, swimmer or lane two, swimmer or lane three, swimmer or lane four and swimmer in lane five. All right, so I can say swimmer or lane, it's up to you what you call it, swimmer three, one, the race. So this is your one mark for your definition. And these two parts together will give you your final mark, which if it was out of six, you'd then have six out of six. OK, so we're going to go back and have a look at that question and you'll never see any questions the same. Every single paper will have brand new questions asked in different ways. OK, so let's go and have a look. OK, so it says explain what is meant by the terms data and knowledge. So we've got data and we decided that was raw facts and figures, so that would be worth one mark. We are asked to define knowledge and we decided that was information with the rule and result. Most of the exam questions, they say uh, information rules and results applied, but that's absolutely fine. Then it's asked for two further examples. So we give data. It's up to you how you split your page up. You can split it in two like that and do one either side. Completely up to you, whichever you feel more comfortable with. So if I say um, so two 
6, uh, 17, 11, let's make it numbers now. Okay, so I've got different sets of numbers and our knowledge. So realistically, you need to kind of give it a bit of information, even though you don't get the mark for it. So our information could be the fact that these are ages. And what's our rule? And then we need a result. So we can say um, the rule is children over uh, 11 or 10 attend comp. Therefore, the result is we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 out of 6 children are of comp age. Okay, so you've got one mark for your data and then one mark for your rule and result. So then that's for another example now. I've seen many times where pupils have misread it. So what you need to do in the exam is underline the key two different examples, okay? Where pupils have just done the one and they've just automatically lost that second mark. So we can do a similar one that we've done in the previous one. Doesn't matter, just learn, just learn certain uh, examples, absolutely fine. All right, so our knowledge. Um, we are going to say that these are um, swim times. Rule. Result. Fastest time wins. And then the result. So we have a look, which one's the fastest? So that's swimmer four. You know, swimmer four one. Okay, we've got our rule, we've got our results, one mark, and this would be data. Okay, don't just write swim times without moving on to the next stage because they might misunderstand when they're marking. They might think you're saying that data is swim time, so they will give you that mark. So make sure you make it clear that you've moved on to the next section. And um, you're kind of given that information because it makes more sense when you're answering the, the knowledge section. Okay, so that would be your six out of six marked by the moderator.